Hi, you guys. Happy Monday. So I'm sitting in my car waiting for my yoga class to start, and I was feeling a lot. I was feeling the human collective. Um, and when I tap into the human collective, this large collective field of consciousness, it feels like one energy. And I was feeling into it and dissecting it, and I thought, you know what? This isn't just for me. This is this may be for other people. Other people may need to hear this today. So I want to share what I was experiencing. I felt a, it, feel, it felt really, it feels heavy today. The energy in the collective feels heavy to me. And it's not something that I attach to, right? When we are evolving, when we move through states of consciousness, we don't attach to it. We just allow it to flow. We allow it to move. We allow ourselves to move through it. One moment, I may be feeling a lot of expansion and, um, and joy and peace. And then the next moment, I may feel this kind of doom and gloom heaviness. It's all part of evolution. I don't attach to any of it. I just allow myself to flow through it. So that's the first piece. Whatever you're going through, whatever your city, your country, whatever the world is going through, the best way, the most the easiest way to move through this is to not attach to any of it, yet allowing yourself to go through it. Okay, so you don't you don't allow yourself to be it, you just experience it. It's very different. You start flowing through your evolution and consciousness, which is what the entire human collective is doing. And as I was tapping into this kind of heavy, heavy feeling that the human collective is going through right now, I kept hearing the word empathy. Empathy, empathy, empathy. Empathy is different than compassion. Empathy is when you literally put yourself in someone else's shoes. What must it be like to be them? What are they going through? You literally visualize yourself in that individual and what they must be going through, right? When you have compassion, you are feeling for them, right? You're, um, you're holding them in love or you're feeling their sadness, you're feeling their joy, you're feeling for them. Empathy is different. Empathy is you are literally putting yourself, it's more of an action, you're putting yourself in their shoes. Can I feel what it feels like to be them? What would it feel like to be them? And when you start empathizing with people, you naturally start to have compassion. You start to have more acceptance, right? You start to understand the human collective more. And you find yourself no longer attached or trying to control the way the human is. You are are allowing them to be, okay? There's more of an understanding when you start to empathize with a human. The other thing that came in was, can we start empathizing with ourselves? So empathizing with the aspect of you that's human, because you're not just human, right? You are a consciousness. You are a light. You are a frequency. You're, you're so much more than physical. You're so much more than this human body. You're so much more than human but you're having a human experience. So that can you empathize with the fact that you are having the human experience and you have had traumas and you are navigating an intense evolution. You are navigating some intense shadow in the human collective, right? And so you use this lens that sort of the observer watching you, the human, go through your human journey. You have empathy for yourself. So throughout your day, today or whenever, if you're feeling whatever you're feeling, for me, it's a lot of heaviness. It's a lot of like, holy cow, we are, we're going in. We're going in deep, right? We're going. (laughs) And uh, we're holding hands as we jump. But empathy will allow us to not have so much anger. Empathy will allow us to have a little bit more compassion. Empathy will allow us to say, okay, I might not do it the way they're doing it at all. And I may not understand how they are doing what they're doing, but can I try to put myself in their shoes? Are they inundated with fear? Are they afraid for their lives? Are they being misled in some way, right? Are they... um, 
Have they had massive amounts of trauma that are keeping them in codependency? I don't know, right? But can I try to put myself in their shoes? What if I was, what if I had a, their life? What if you had their life? What if you grew up the way they grew up? What if you had the family? What if you had the upbringing? What if you had the traumas? You, when you start to view humans from that lens, you will find yourself no longer yelling and being angry and rageful at all these humans that you can't understand. You will slowly, very slowly, begin to juggle both the I don't understand how you are doing what you're doing with I understand because this is the human experience that you're having. Empathy is a tricky one. It's not easy. But it's practice, daily practice. And I'm telling you guys right now, we, gonna, we are going to need more empathy than we have ever needed as we navigate this. Because what's happening right now are the systems at play are trying to create a larger divide. They're trying to vet us against each other. They're tearing apart empathy. And they're trying to create apathy which is I have no feeling for humans. I have no feeling for my neighbors. I have no feeling for my friends, for my teachers, for my cohorts. That's apathy, having no feeling for people. That's what the systems at play are trying to do to us right now, create a massive divide so that we tear each other apart. Let's do the opposite. No matter what side you're on, no matter what you're doing or they're doing, empathy will free the world. Empathy will bring us together. Empathy will heal the world. Empathy will open your hearts. Empathy will bring more compassion. So practice empathy throughout your day as you're navigating whatever you're navigating. I love you. We have got this. You are not alone. You are not alone. And it's okay that this may feel heavy and dense at times when you start looking at what we are all navigating and stepping into and continuing to move through. But please remember that I swear to you, I promise you we get through this. It's going to be rocky. It's going to be intense. But we are learning so much about stepping into higher states of consciousness, opening our hearts, loving more, holding more compassion, holding more empathy, staying more present, surrendering, letting go, let go of attachment, expectation, etc., etc. I could go on and on and on. But I love you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being courageous. And let's practice more empathy.